Condenser won't run because the 230 volt double pull breaker is tripped. When resetting the breaker, it'll make a buzzing sound and trip shortly after. This is the possible symptom of a shorted compressor, but it's not definitive. Don't reset the breaker anymore. We need to do some tests with our multimeter at the condenser. Set your meter to ohms or continuity. Make sure your meter is working by touching the test leads together. They should read very low ohms and your meter should beep if you have that setting enabled. Switch your multimeter over to AC voltage. We need to make sure that the power is off before proceeding. Test for voltage at L1 and L2 at the contactor. You should read zero volts. Test for voltage at L2 to ground. You should read zero volts. Test for voltage at L1 to ground. You should read zero volts. If you're reading voltages at any of these tests, you still have power or you're on the wrong unit. Set your multimeter back to ohms or continuity. Testing from L1 to ground, we should be reading OL, but we have low resistance instead, which makes this a possible shorted compressor. Testing L2 to ground, we also have low resistance making it more probable that the compressor is shorted to ground. The last and final test to completely verify the compressor is shorted to ground, and the one I always recommend is at the compressor terminals itself. On most residential condensers, the compressor is accessed by removing the fan motor housing. On this model, it's only held in by four screws, and I had to cut the wire ties to make the wires long enough to pull the fan out without damaging anything. Remove the compressor plug, or the compressor cover and wires from the terminals. Sand a small spot on the discharge line. We need a clean connection here to use as our ground contact. Put one test lead to our ground contact, discharge line, and the other test lead to any terminal. If you get any kind of low resistance on any terminal to ground, the compressor is 100% toast. Burnout, shorted to ground. A good compressor will read OL when testing ground to each compressor terminal lead. But it's also possible that the resistance is low enough that your multimeter will not pick it up and the compressor is still causing the breaker to trip. You could use a decent megger meter to verify this or just simply keep the compressor plug or wires disconnected, put the fan motor housing back on and turn on the 230 volt breaker back on. If the breaker holds and doesn't trip, then you know that the compressor is toast. This is also known as the red net compressor test. You can check out a video I made on it right here. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Dave. See you on the next one.